Hello and welcome back to another CAD clip uh, training series using our Revit 2013. Uh, this uh, series we're going to talk about um, the uh, family for the electrical um, duplex receptacle. So when you add in a, an outlet in your wall in Revit uh, MEP, um, how does that uh, symbol show up in different detail levels and in 3D and what makes it look the way it does and act the way it does. So we're just going to kind of poke around and have some fun in this particular series on how the uh, the receptacle family, the duplex receptacle electrical family uh, behaves. So we're just going to kind of dissect it. So I'm using Revit uh, 2013 which has my MEP structure and architecture all built in. I have added my electrical template to my list here. If you don't have yours you can go up to your big purple R and go down to the bottom and pick options. And then under uh, file locations I've gone in and added and then browsed and added my electrical one which is located in this location. And I've also moved my residential down on the list so it shows up a bit lower because it appears there's only room for five that show up. So when you look at this these guys are basically these guys other than my new and my open button. So I've added my electrical template. So I'm going to start up a new electrical project. Click on there. Starts up Revit using the electrical template file which has the view set up basically for discipline uh, specific stuff like electrical. So what we usually do is we usually link in our architectural models. So I'm going to do that in our case. Um, we could have our walls locally here but most of the time we like to try to use the architect's um, model. So what I'm going to do is go to my insert tab over here and I'm going to say link Revit and I'm going to go get basic architectural model here and I'm just going to use my auto center to center very basic hit my open button on the bottom there and it has linked in this architectural model over here. So what I'm going to do is go to my systems tab and the first thing I noticed here is I don't see my electrical tools here. So what we're going to do is go back to our big purple R and on the bottom, you can't see it just off screen, we go to options and then under user interface now in Revit 2013, you can turn on and off different aspects of that ribbon because we have so much of it there, structure, architecture, electrical, mechanical, HVAC. So you can see the electrical tools are turned off. So let's, I don't need the analysis tools, but I do want to turn on my electrical tools. I don't need my piping tools and maybe I don't want to see my mechanical and my structural. I'll leave my architectural and my electrical tools on and all of a sudden I'll see architecture, I'll see systems and I'll see this electrical panel inside of here. So if I go down to this template file and if I look at the project browser under families under electrical fixtures which is the category we have one little lone family in here called duplex receptacle and it comes with Revit and there's two types, a GFI which shows up at four feet above the level and a standard which shows up at uh, 18 inches above the level and we can actually have a look and see exactly where does that measure to once we start to poke around. So I'm just going to click in here and zoom in a little bit and pick an area on here and I can go in here now and say okay I'm just going to drag this guy in and as I place it you should always go up and look at your placement types inside of here uh, if one's not working you can try another once again right now I'm not going to explain all of this but in this case we'll just go with the place on vertical face and if I zoom in I can go in and I can place these little receptacles in there wherever I want they stick to that architectural linked model. If I change my type down here and just off screen if you go down to the GFI version over here I can do it from there or I could go pick it off of here uh, from my families it doesn't matter where I get it from but if I use the GFI one and I pull it in it's going to do the same thing but it's going to put the GFI in there. And the first thing you'll notice is that the text is upside down so part of our lesson is we're going to fix that so that the GFI is always written either to the right or vertical and we're also going to change its position escape escape on the keyboard because we don't want that text to be overlapping on our wall so the out of the box GFI aspect of this family uh, needs to be tweaked a little bit and we're going to do that in our series here so what we can do is these are two different types of the same family if I pick on this family you'll notice that it shows up as a symbol 
okay but if I go to a 3d view of this okay and I zoom in over here my electrical families okay I'm gonna type TL on the keyboard for thin lines there's my uh, my receptacles and they're sticking in the wall and because of the discipline of the view is why the walls are showing up the way they are if I change the discipline of this view to be coordination or architecture I won't see through the walls but there's my devices positioned accordingly and if I was to even go as far as opening up my power plan and then maybe even doing a little section inside of here okay just like that click out double click to open up my section okay I can zoom in here and there's my little receptacles going in and you can see there's the four foot elevation for the GFIs and the one foot six but notice in in elevation okay and in 3d they appear like this but when you go to a floor plan it appears like this okay so it has a nice little nested family annotation family in there that we're gonna learn about um, you can always try changing your scale and see if that has an effect okay sometimes it will have an effect I'm changing my scale to be one inch equals one foot which is more for details and not floor plans but you'll notice that the annotation object will adjust according to this scale you would never print out a floor plan uh, this large at one inch equals one foot but you might print it out at you know a quarter inch equals one foot which means your symbols would be this size and if we go to say an eighth of an inch equals one foot then our symbols appear to get a bit bigger but they're just adjusting to the scale factor so the annotation aspect of this family is adjusting with the scale that's part of the magic of it and, and alongside of that in elevation okay if you can change your scale in here all you want it's not going to do anything to the size of these objects because those are the physical plates that sit out there it's not an annotation object and that's all the same family if I pick on here and then I go back to here and I look it's still highlighted that is exactly the same family so we what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to say edit family we're going to open that up in the family editor in the next few lessons and we can see that um, there's our object we first thing we'll notice is that it is face hosted very important it's got some properties and in this family there's a connector which is this this is our our brains to our MEP um, system browser so that connector this this guy here is what connects to the wires and the system and actually adds the intelligence of this device to the overall system with the loads and all that stuff so this connector is absolutely critical outside of that if I shift middle mouse button you can see that there's that faceplate and if I switch here to be wireframe you can see there's that kind of box that's sitting inside the wall okay so there's my electrical um, the 3d aspect of it okay now within the family editor I can go into here and I right now I'm looking at a 3d view if I go to the floor plan view floor plans of this f object in the family editor it shows me like a flat um, view down so back to my 3d view the way this guy is developed is even though it sits on a wall it's designed and sits on almost like a flat floor in a sense because when we look at the floor plan it looks like this you would think that when you look at the elevation that's when you would see the floor the the face plate but you don't in the elevation you're actually looking at it from here and there's that face plate there and there's that kind of electrical box that sits inside the wall and yet I'm looking at the front elevation you would think that this would be more of a bottom elevation or something like that again back to the floor plan level one this is where we can see the the device and we can see there's our little symbol guy nested in there now I'm set to six inches equals one foot which is, which is a huge scale if I switch back to be say an eighth of an inch equals one foot because even family editors can change your scale ah now I'm gonna see where that symbol is so this is a nested symbol okay you see it says edit family within this 3d family so within this 3d family which shows again my connector and the and the physical aspects of this switching back here to be wireframe again okay that's the physical stuff but when you get to here this is where you can um, 
embed or insert a nested annotation family. Once again, if I click on here, guess what? I'm going even, even deeper now. I was in the project. I said edit family. Now I'm in the family and I'm going to pick on this annotation and say edit family again. Now I'm in two layers of family editing and this is where we have basically a little circle and a little line and a little line. That's it. Two lines, a circle, and a label, a special piece of attribute text. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take this guy, we're going to move him up here, we're going to center him, and then we're going to change some properties over here to make sure that it always flips around and pointing the right way. For now, I'm just going to hit undo. I'm going to leave this guy the way it is, click on here, hit the close button, which only closes this one pro family. Now I'm back into here, and I can say, big purple R and close that as well and do I want to save any changes because I changed scale and stuff I'm just gonna say no and now I'm back in my project and there's my family so within that family we do have two different versions we have the regular and the GFI let's go back in one more time and hit edit family if I pick on there and I look at this and I go up here to my uh, parameters and my types. If I pick on here, there's a standard and there's a GFI. Watch what happens to these properties when I change it to GFI. The GFI type has an elevation of 400 and the label says GFCI, whereas the standard version of that family type has it at 1 foot 6 default elevation and the label is basically left blank and I'm going to hit cancel on here. So within this family we have two types once again in here standard and GFI and each one has the opportunity to change these different variables inside of here or preset them. Okay, So I can hit cancel and again I'm just going to close this guy off which closes off this family file and now I'm back in my project. So from here at any point I can simply pick on here and say create similar I call it the give me one of these, create similar, and then off I go placing more electrical families. Okay, If I have a view range and this isn't sitting in there, I might not see it. Okay, If I go to this view and I look at my view range right now, edit, and my cut plane is at 4 feet, which is fine because this is at 4 feet. But if I take this guy and I, and I move it up, Okay, it's at one foot six. If I make this uh, seven feet and click out, okay, I may not. Uh, where is it? Seven feet. Yeah. So now, in fact, I can still see this. So I was curious if that was going to work. Uh, let's pick on here and say create similar uh, to get another section looking the other way. Escape, escape. Let's have a look at that guy. Okay, there he is. He's sitting up there at seven feet. And um, because he's in the wall, that could be a reason. We'll have to check that when we start to dig in a little deeper. Oh, I don't want a ceiling plan. I want regular floor plan. But I'm just going to keep bumping that up a little bit. Uh, what if I make it uh, 8 feet? Click out. Still good. Uh, let's go in my view. And let's go down to view range. Let's see, up to level above. That's probably why it's going all the way up to the level above. If my top view range was set to be, say, level 1, uh, offset by, say, f 6 feet, which has to be above this 4 feet, and hit apply, all of a sudden this guy's going to disappear. Okay, so the uh, the family has to still be within the view range to show up. Okay, once again, if I pick on here and I take this guy and, and I bump him down to be back to be six feet within that view range, click out, go back to my floor plan, all of a sudden he's going to show up in here. And we're going to show you some tricks about how to make things show up even though they're not really in your view range. So uh, just a little taster here on the uh, electrical duplex uh, receptacle family and we're going to dig in and show you all kinds of great tips and tricks that you can then use to create all kinds of your own um, electrical families and really any kind of family that you want to host to a wall and maybe have an, a nested annotation family built in so come on back for some more CAD clips on Revit 2013